guys, it's Larry Show TV here. This time, doing the um, last Christmas set that I got for my Christmas toys or sets. And uh, this is from Jurassic World. And this is 759 18 T Rex Tracker, 520 pieces, ages 7, 12. Includes the T Rex, of course, Haskins, ACU, and Vet there. There you can see Jurassic World, T-Rex there, and then the scene there, and then uh, T-Rex, two of the other characters, looks like we get a female ACU, and a school size of Hoskins there, and uh, yeah, um, there you can see the features of the set. I did, re I have reviewed the Pterodon capture, and the... Um, the Lopasaurus Ambush, I haven't reviewed the Raptor Rampage or Raptor Escape or the Indominus Rex, um, Indominus Rex, uh, Rex Breakout. Now, um, reason I haven't reviewed the other ones is, um, real quick, um, I'm lucky to even have this set. Lego is said to have been to be out of all Jurassic World sets, but my mom, um, because she, uh, couldn't find them in stores, ordered this, so um, that's how I have it, and um, yeah, very lucky to have this set, and um, yeah, now I'm going to go build it, so let's take a look at it after I'm done. Here's everything you get in the Jurassic World T-Rex Tracker set, and we'll start off with taking a look at the instructions, first of all, and here they are, and it's the, both the same as the front of the box. And you do turn around this way. And it goes in with the build, of course. And then, uh, then you got the um, character count. I have reviewed the Pterodon capture and the Dilophosaurus um, ambush. Probably won't be getting the um, Indominus Rex one, but if as soon as I see the Raptors sets in stores, I will be getting them. Um, Lego is currently out of stock of Jurassic World set at the moment, but as I said in the intro for this review, my parent, um, I was able to get this um, by finding it online. And um, yeah, uh, here's the locations of each of the sets. Even though that the um, T-Rex Tracker really isn't located in the movie, it is still a pretty cool set here and located in it on the map and you've got the um, dinosaurs as they come in each set right there and then they went with the kid and this is the first manual then the second manual is basic build so the rest of the set typically the cage and the electricity type parts and the grappling gun there and then how to put the, the piece count of course there, yeah. Um, and then how to tie a string there, how to open it up properly, and um, yeah, how to put the dinosaur in there, piece count of course again, in the Jurassic World video game, which is already out, of course, and all the advertisements for the different games, of course, owned by Universal. Warner Brothers, video, Lego Video Games, TT Games. And yeah, now let's get on to those minifigures. And here they are, and included with the minifigures, I am going to include the dinosaur, just as the giant build. And we'll start off with taking a look at it. And it's a pretty cool build. This is my first T-Rex build, um, actually. So it's pretty cool. And uh, since I didn't get the other dinosaur sets back in 2010 or anything. This is probably the coolest one. I'm probably I'd say the coolest set. Um, and uh, does have articulation there and a mouth moving. You can put that in there. And as I said, I'm gonna have this eat Laval in a little short ending of Chima season and my Chima season. And uh, some feet there. Nice around detailing on all the parts there. And of course, I will show you how to. Uh, put this in the tracker later but um, let's get on to the actual minifigures and this is starting off this is the vet there 
and see his character detailing, love detailing. Kind of has that Bruce Wayne face, of course. And um, and then the little shocker thing, and uh, Indiana Jones type hat there. And then you can see his back torso detailing there. And yeah, that is the um, vet there. Next up is Hoskins. And uh, you can see his torso detailing, no leg detailing, facial detailing, coil hair, and double side face and back torso detailing. And that is the Hoskins minifigure. Then we got the female ACU, and uh, she's pretty cool. Take off her um, vest there. You can see it's just pretty cool there. Focus there. And yeah, that is that jacket. And um, you can see same regular facial or uh, same regular torso printing as all the other ACUs and back torso detailing and a little the back head detailing. And you can put this helmet on her and yeah, she does have a little gun. And um, yeah, those are about it for your minifigures. Pretty cool swapment of minifigures. Now let's get on to the actual tracker itself. Here is the actual tracker itself, and as you can see, it's a mobile vehicle. And what I've heard is people saying that it is not in the actual movie itself, but um, starting off with the cockpit here, you can put minifigures inside of there. And uh, yeah, um, you can see that in there. It's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, you do have room put in there. It's supposed to be stickers right there, but I do not know what the stickers are. I have no idea where my sticker sheet is. So um, that's why I haven't put any of the stickers on yet, I'm sorry. But then you can see the front of it. It's pretty cool. And um, you do got a place where the vehicle or the motorcycle to um, disassemble or take off, um, you gotta do it quite easily. And uh, you can see that there, pretty cool. And uh, got a cage, and uh, yeah, this is overall just an all-terrain technical and portrait vehicle. Um, no Star Wars intended, reference intended, but um, yeah, it's just an all-terrain technical vehicle. And that means it covers all land. And there's supposed to be a sticker there, but once again, I don't know where the stickers are. I have misplaced and I'm terribly sorry. And there's a um, thing there. And uh, that's where you can keep the um, ACU stun gun. And um, yeah, little what scanner thing. And then you can put a minifigure right there. And um, yeah. Uh, put a minifigure right there and then hit that and it won't go flying off the missile won't go flying off because it is attached to a spring loaded shooter which is attached to a string attached to the missile and um, yeah this is just on a mixel joint kind of you can move up and down kind of Move it sideways, and uh, yeah. Um, now you're ready to see the real feature of the set. Um, and you can uh, open this up there. Uh, can move these, and then you are ready to place your dino in for capture and take him back to the lab. And uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. And um, you can take that off. Um, there, you can take that off. And then, and then you can just see the back of the vehicle. And um, yeah, uh, you can just see the inside of there. But um, yeah. That's about it for the T-Rex Tracker. 
and um, you can just go over this little cage bit real quick. And um, yeah, I am sorry about the chime. You got it's a grandfather clock. Oh, but yeah, I just want to get it out of the way. You can open that, and it's pretty cool. And you put the T-Rex in there, captures. And uh, how you put that back on there is you just face it down or just turn it like so. It is kind of easy to get in there, but it is kind of a tight fit. Um, but yeah, uh, that is about it for the T-Rex tracker and everything it has to offer. Um, and uh, I am pretty well impressed with this set. So uh, now let's go on to the ratings for the set. On to the ratings for the set. This set costs $70 and um, uh, I didn't buy this in stores. My um, parents actually got it for me for Christmas. So uh, yeah, um, so yeah, they actually ordered it. And um, my mom said that it was hard to find. Um, wasn't easy to come by. Um, not being trying to spoil Christmas by anybody, but um, yeah, it, my parents really did get this um, at Target. They really did have to order it or wherever they got it. She did find it, luckily. And um, yeah, um, on the ratings, on the set, said $70. That is a correct price point. And um, yeah, I love the set. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty decent build. I struggled with a little bit technique there, but um, yeah, it was more easier than Kyle Ren's shuttle um, was. And uh, yeah, it was a decently good build. And for $70, you could get your money's worth. And um, that's why I'm gonna give this set a 10. Because yeah, other than a little bit of technique build that I did struggle with and um, little bits that are left out that should have been covered there. Um, and uh, yeah, um, pretty cool build. And uh, by the way, do not criticize me for just not putting on the stickers. You don't have to put on stickers on every Lego set. Some of them you just don't have to, okay? And um, I couldn't find the stickers, so don't criticize me. I will remove your comment. Um, because, yeah, I'll just remove your comment. Um, and, uh, I really have no complaints other than that. Um, little technic bits out there sticking out that can easily then cover. And, um, I think they could have made this movie accurate, even though I haven't seen the movie. I've heard it, it's not in there. I think they should have put it in there. If the T-Rex was in there, they should have captured it. T-Rex track it, track it down and stuff. But, um, yeah, uh, definitely be seeing this dinosaur and using Chima. Uh, one last Chima episode. And uh, it'll be short, not very long at all. Uh, just love how being eaten. But, um, yeah, that's about it for this review. Um, that's all I had to say. Please comment, like, subscribe, check out my Twitter at LegoShowTV1. And, um, uh, uh, yeah, also go subscribe to my second channel, Minecraft Master TV. And, um, uh, yeah, that's about it for this video. So please comment, like, subscribe. I will see you next time. Bye.